what it's like to fly How to get somewhere Soaring over mountain tops You said that dreams too big Too big to realize So I stayed aground, I kept my head down, yes, I learned to live a lie. Rose and blue, rose and blue, stop trying to tell me I can't get high. The name of that song is titled Rosy Blue, and it was written and recorded by my special guest today, New England singer, songwriter, guitar player, Carrie Powers. Carrie, thank you so much for being on this Friday Afternoon Music Mix. I was sent your latest album called Love Is Why. I fell in love with it immediately. I said, I have got to have her on my show. I also went back and listened to your previous releases, one from 2014 called Fact of the Matter, your second CD, which was Star Seeds. It's just really wonderful to see how you started out as a, a folk singer and now finger-picking blues artists. So, yeah, but- <laughs> thank you. I just, the album's actually going to be released on the 27th of October, So we were really lucky to get it out beforehand to you folks. You know, I always had an affinity 
for the blues from the time I was a little girl. And I think I just kind of go, I'm really um, what I consider an intuitive artist, both on the music and the art side. I'm a visual artist as well. I paint and I do everything based on emotion, which isn't always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and intuition, you know, because I just kind of go with uh, fly by the seat of my pants. In writing, we call it a pantser. So um, <laughs> it just, it really just, it, it depends on how I'm feeling that particular day. And I think the emotion kind of drives the outcome, if that makes sense. So Gosh. I do, I, I love blues and I love to play slide and I play a little hack and stomp my feet a lot. So it feels really good, you know. <sighs> Speaking of sly guitar, I want to recommend to our listeners that they go either onto your website or onto your YouTube channel and watch the beautiful rendition that you've done acoustically and on the sly guitar of Buttercup. That's quite powerful the way you have that set up and it shows your skills, not only as a great singer, but also as a great picker and sly guitar player. Thanks so much. I appreciate that was a lot of fun to record that. That was recorded in uh, a place called Winding Trails in Connecticut. Remember the day it was snowing like crazy, and it was just was a really great experience with two fellas that started a video company and, and a little vlog called The Old Guitar. So it was a good experience. I want to point out, too, that your music has been licensed, one for the motion picture Chuck, also for two TV series, Rescue Me, and one of my favorites, Justified. <laughs> yeah, with her, the Oliphant, sure. I know each one of those is a, a real sweet surprise, you can imagine. You know, it's certainly not something that we ever expect. So when the news comes in, it, it's a nice addition to what we do as artists. It's just a nice perk. One of the songs that's on your first release that I like a lot, and it's also on your YouTube channel. Tell me a little bit about this, especially this name, which is one you don't hear a lot, Tallulah, Send a Car for Me. Yeah, Tallulah, um, that song is actually inspired by Tallulah Bankhead, the actress. I first saw, I used to love black and white, I still love them, the old black and white movies. And I saw her when I was younger in this movie called Lifeboat. And I'm not that old. I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a child of the, the 70s, so... I used to, I was just, I had this thing for black and white movies, you know, and I saw her and I thought she was so cool. And so years later, I was working with a producer by the name of Grit Harmon, you know, he used to co-write from time to time. And we were talking about guardian angels and who we might choose to be a guardian angel, you know, and I said right off, I, I said Tallulah Bankhead for sure. You know, she's full of mischief, just my kind of gal. So I said, we should write a song. You know, Tallulah, send a car for me. I had come up with the melody in the run, you know, that little blues run that lick weeks before, and then it just sort of fell into place. Being a visual artist, I always have these little vignettes in my head when I'm writing songs. It's like a movie trailer all the time. That was an interesting one, I must say, you know. The lyrics, it was just a lot of fun to write that. Let's do a second song from your new album, the title cut called Love Is Why. Sound mm -hmm. good.
thing that I like so much about this album, Carrie, is, is you cross genres so much in here. I mean, there's country, there's blues, there's Americana, beautiful classic sounds to some of your songs as well. And your voice, it took me a while, but when I was listening to one of your songs earlier today before our interview, I realized that on one of the songs, you reminded me of an artist that I haven't heard from in a long, long time called Tony Childs. I don't know whether you've ever heard any of her music or not. Oh, right, John. That's a huge compliment. Thank you so much. And folks have said that from time to time, and it's a great honor. You know, frankly, it's an honor when folks compare you to a lot of people, but she just was very special. I know she had a long run with the Continental Club in Austin, Texas, just seemed to beat to her own drum, so to speak, you know, and I, I really admire that. But thank you for saying that. I think it's important, you know, I don't stick to one particular genre because, again, it's really about what inspires us as artists and writers. You know, it used to bother me when I first started out when people would say, we don't know where to pigeonhole you, we don't know where to put you. And now I, I have a completely different perspective on that. I'm glad. I'm glad that, that you can't necessarily put me in any particular box, <laughs> you know? You sure can't. And like you said, that's for our benefit. <laughs> no Thank question. you so much. I want to also ask you about another song on here that shocked me because before I even read the liner notes, I knew who it was. You did a duet on this a new album with Paul Thorne. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's incredible. That came by way of a producer of Marco Giovino. I was a drummer for Robert Plant and his band of joy for quite a while just so happens that he's relocated to Massachusetts. I didn't know that. Yeah, we met back in 2018, I believe, and he contacted Paul's manager, and one thing led to another, and it's just a privilege, obviously, to have him. You know, when he said, you, you know, you're going to do that with Paul Thorne, I thought, wow, this is so amazing. And he did such a wonderful job on the track, so it uh, worked out great. He's had an evolution. Mm -hmm much like yourself, from the standpoint of view that he's come a long way from <laughs> burn down the trailer park and pimps and preachers as, I mean, grant you, those are wonderful songs, but his last album, he recorded duets with his wife. And I was stunned because it's much in the same vein as the song that the two of you recorded together. I mean, just absolutely drop dead gorgeous music. Yeah. It's, uh, I've never done that before. That was a first. I have never done a duet before. And you never know like how things are going to meld or if they are at all. I feel like I got really lucky with that. I mean, when I found out it was Paul, I really didn't worry. <laughs> I love his voice. And I think his <laughs> phrasing is outrageously wonderful. So I wasn't real worried about it at all. But you just never know how voices are going to or if they're going to gel, you know. And it just worked out. Your voices blend so well Thank you. Uh, on Please Come Home. It really is a terrifically beautiful song. I want to talk about the fact that you have a classic guitar. Whenever I see or hear of these with an artist, I always like to bring it up. I know you have a 1939 Gibson Archtop 
guitar that you play. Tell me a little bit about it. A 1939 Gibson L7, and I've named it after my dad. I lost my father four years ago. I, you know, I had the guitar before that, of course. What sold me on that guitar, you guys will laugh at this, but I had been looking for a second guitar. The idea of an arch top was very appealing because I basically feed those through an amp. And sometimes I'll add like a fuzz pedal and really get crazy with it. And they just sound amazing. I mean, it's 84 years old and it sounds amazing. I was sold on that because of the way that it smelled. I opened the, the case. I was at my luthiers that afternoon. And he said, Carrie, you know, I just got a guitar in. He said, and I don't know if you're going to like it. And I said, well, show it to me, you know. And as soon as I opened the top of the case and I got a whiff of it, and then I looked at it and I said... I got to have this guitar, you know, whatever it takes. They were real good to me, you know, in terms of a reasonable offer. So I grabbed it and I've had it ever since. But I have a story that you won't believe. I was playing last weekend for a benefit in Stony Creek, New York. And they always have this wonderful raffle. The gentleman who runs it used to work for Gibson. And they raffled off a custom Les Paul. And I won it. <laughs> really? I won the guitar. They call my oh, name, gosh. and my husband said, Carrie, you got to get up there and claim the guitar. What are you doing? And I said, stop it. I thought he was teasing me. I didn't <laughs> believe it. So it took me about 15 minutes to go up, and I'm still in shock. I mean, the guitar is incredible. Yeah. Talk about luck. Congratulations. Luck be a lady that <laughs> night, I'll wonderful. tell you. Yes, you were. Yes. It was amazing. Let's do one of my favorite blues songs from your album. It's called Morning Glory, Midnight Blue. <laughs> this life or ruin our days I'll offer my time babe but you could refuse for you. 
people can listen more to your music and also I want to talk next about your artwork as well. Your website is Carrie Powers and that's K-E-R-R-I Powers Art.com. Your YouTube channel is YouTube.com. It's got a lengthy thing here at Carrie Powers 2903, but I found that all you have to do is just go to YouTube and type in your name and it pops right up. Instagram.com that Carrie Powers Art. You're on Apple Music, of course, Facebook.com forward slash Carrie Powers Music. So you've got it pretty well covered as far as the social media and on your website. I'd be amiss if I didn't point out that you are an artist and a visual artist with lots of color. The place that I found most of, of your artwork that was really wonderful was on Instagram. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I am. Um... I have been doing that from the time I was real little. My mother's an artist, she's a visual artist. She's more of an impressionistic painter and I consider myself more of a, frankly, a colorist and an abstract painter. I just love making a mess, that, that's the bottom line, you know? <laughs> and playing like a child. I'm a synesthete, so it's really amazing when I hear music, I see color. So one medium informs the other which is really interesting. You know, if I hear music, that'll inform the palette, you know, the colors on my palette. And I just have a great time with it, you know. I love to paint. And your art reflects that. It really does. The colors are just brilliant in your artwork. For some reason, Instagram, I guess maybe that's what was set up with for, for photos, really does do a good job of displaying your artwork on there. So I'd encourage our listeners to also see the other talent of, that you have there, which is, which is painting. Thanks so much. Yeah. I want to also ask you about a cover that you did on one of your albums. I immediately recognized the song and also the writers and performers of it originally. I know you're a fan of them. You did a cover of Polly, which was written, of course, by Gene Clark and Doug Dillard and recorded by the Dillards. I saw you were a fan of theirs. I saw Gene Clark also was one of the people that you admire. He was a, really a brilliant singer-songwriter, wasn't he? He was. The thing that bothers me about all of that is he doesn't really bother me, but I just think it's, it's a common thing. You know, he was really understated. Just thought for the, for the talent level and for his writing ability that he should have been a lot better known. Just beautiful imagery. And that particular song with the bird and flying and being free just seemed like he was a total free spirit through his songs and music, you know? My favorite album of his, it's now been remastered, is No Other. I think that that's his masterpiece. One of the reasons that we don't hear enough about Gene Clark is he died so young. I think he was only somewhere in these early 40s, which is a shame because there was so much time left in his career. Let's point out, too, that you're getting ready to leave on a... European tour, kind of a whirlwind. You leave on the 28th and you'll be in Netherlands and Germany, not returning until the 5th of November. You've got some gigs, but mostly on the East Coast. When are you coming out our way? I'm not sure I would love to. I think right now we're just trying to get through this, the European dates because we're going to be gone until mid-November. What's happening is there's a label over there that's very good to me. Uh, Bert Pipers runs a label over there and he's releasing this particular record on CD over there on the 20th of October. So they're actually releasing it over there before we are here in the States. So I have dates over there and then in Germany, and then I'm actually going over to England for about five days. So I have a few dates here uh, in New England. When I get back, we're working on getting out and about, you know, one thing at a time. I hope you'll come out here sometime. That would be great. I'd love to do that. Be fun. Yeah, I'd really enjoy that. Thank you. My special guest today is Carrie Powers. She has a new album being released on the 27th of October called Love Is Why. You can see her music on her YouTube channel. 
which just type in Carrie, K-E-R-R-I, Powers. Also, her website is carriepowersart.com. Her Instagram, where you can see her artwork, is instagram.com forward slash carriepowersart. Facebook.com, Carrie Powers Music, also on Apple Music. Carrie, thank you so very much for being on the show today, and I just wish you the best with this new album and the tour that's coming up. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Let's go out with another song from your album called When It Rains. I wiped the mud off my boots and knocked on your door You slipped the lock and said don't come to see me no more change when you know what your heart's beating for yes. give it a chance don't turn away love can't take root in the place when it rains every day give it some thought It's made you so high 